Hey guys, Joe back again. Today we're looking at a 2023 Golf R. This one is built, it's back in lapis blue paint. Really sharp looking color, especially with those blue brake calipers. Obviously the Golf R has been one of the hardest cars to get so far. Very rare car, really sharp look with that rear spit spoiler. Definitely a lot more aggressive than what a GTI would be. Obviously as a Mark 8, it's definitely a sharp car. You have the quad exit exhaust back here. Really looking ex good looking exhaust. You'll notice obviously because we have the summer sport tires on here, you have these little winglets just to protect from stuff hitting up as far as rocks and stuff. 315 horsepower, 295 foot-pounds of torque, give or take, could be vice versa. But figured I'd do a quick video of this. We just got it in at the dealership, so we'll take a look at it. Obviously, these cars are some of the highest marked up cars still. You'll see the window sticker there. Lapis blue metallic, Titan black leather. MSRP on these cars is right around the upper 40s okay so let's take a look inside the golf r here get a good idea of the car itself obviously you have your volkswagen logo you have your r logo the blue accented stitching on the steering wheel nice paddle shifters really cool here on the r's you have this button right here. Just press this. It'll change your mode. So whether you want race, custom, comfort, sport, etc. In race, you have two different modes. You have drift. You'll notice when you put it in drift or the Nürburgring mode, your RPMs will rise. Then on here, obviously you have your boost and you have your performance as well. You have your little toggle shifter down here. Not too bad once you start using it. All your assists and climate control here. Heated steering wheel, dash up here. You know, some people either love it or hate it, but this is what Volkswagen has incorporated. You have everything here with all your haptic feedback. your audio and everything, temperatures. Not horrible, definitely different. Then you have everything for your cruise control there. Heated mirrors, Harman Kardon. This does have a sunroof. You can open that up through here. The Golf R seats do offer a lot of bolstering. Has the Golf R logo on the back of the seat, black with a blue tint. He has the blue accents and everything on it. Really sharp looking, comfortable seat. And then obviously you have the weird cup holder here. Which I can never figure out how to close. Take a look at the back here. Back seat, pretty spacious, pretty roomy. Nothing really too different or crazy here, but pretty nice overall. Take a look in the trunk. You have that gorgeous R logo back there. The updated Volkswagen logo in the back. Everything here. This is your jack and everything. You have your spare tire stuff here, inflator kit, first aid kit that it came with, stuff like that. So we'll take a look here at the exhaust.
I'll give you an idea of a couple different exhaust notes in the different modes. We'll take a look underneath the hood. Taking a look underneath the hood here, your standard EA888 engine. Nothing too different. Still got your big turbo back there. So biggest thing I've noticed on these is how hard they are to get. Obviously Volkswagen's releasing them very slowly. Obviously COVID had a problem to do with that. Uh, biggest thing I'm noticing now is a lot of dealers are selling them over MSRP. I've seen used ones go for about 10 grand over what they originally cost. So we'll see how the market shakes out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and have a good one.